Okay, here is my Wakara 4G6. Um, stripped of all the blades and the uh, rotating head. Um, Swash plate still on, servo still on. Uh, as a matter of fact, I did have everything off of this helicopter at one point, tracing down a strange problem. Um, I was flying the helicopter and randomly out of nowhere it started, uh, you know, yawing left, right, rudder all over the place. Didn't uh, seem to have a direction, couldn't hold its head, uh, didn't know where it was going. So, you know, um, didn't like that, almost crashed, was able to bring her down safely. Um, Figured that there was definitely some kind of vibration problem. Well, upon looking when I was spinning up the blades, the servo was going nuts for the uh, rudder control and um, had to figure out why. It was going back and forth, um, so I went searching for a vibration. Obviously, started with the easy things, you know, head, uh, tail blades, everything, blades, all that nonsense. Um, even went so far as to take apart the tail servo and make sure nothing was bad in there. Um, everything appeared normal. Changed the main gear, changed the main shaft, feathering shaft in the head of the helicopter which is over here. Um, even went to a completely balanced, understood, um, completely balanced head that I knew was in good shape. Um, good blades, brand new carbon fibers, went through two or three sets, balanced them, made sure that they were uh, CG'd okay. Everything was great. Didn't understand it. Um, so, you know, with everything off, you know, what I would do is simply spin up the helicopter. Let's see if I could do this without losing it here. Yeah, she's moving a little bit. Okay, just spinning it up a little bit. This is only, what, about 25% uh, throttle, okay? And that would be, yeah, about 25% with my curve. It'll go right to 100 at half throttle, so. But as you can see, tail servo twitching like mad. Um, had no idea what this was. Definitely, you know, not a vibration. I can't really feel a vibration holding onto the heli. It does vibrate a little bit, but the natural tendencies. Look at the head. That looks almost perfectly straight. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything better than that. Uh, did check the tail shaft, all that nonsense there. Like I said, took apart the servo, but it still kept doing that. Um, notice my receiver does not have any, um, you know, that weird covering over it. Um, had it over there before and it was still doing it obviously so I took it apart because I wanted to inspect it to see what was going on um, now this is where I had something weird when I run the helicopter with the receiver completely off of the double sided tape and everything look who quieted down um, touch the helicopter with the receiver servo goes crazy let go of the helicopter with the receiver servo stops touch it so vibration right yep definitely well, I don't really have a vibration that I can feel. Everything seems okay. There is a slight vibration from the motor, but as you can see, everything looks perfect. It looks pretty good. My hand's a little shaky, but you know. So, planting the receiver back on the helicopter, we're gonna take a better look at the receiver, and uh, namely the gyro inside. What is that? See it bobbling around in there? Look at that. And this is only 25% throttle, no blades, no nothing on it to cause a vibration. Obviously what I've noticed was, you know, when you pick it up off the helicopter, notice it doesn't bobble anymore. Touch it to the helicopter. Yeah, you can't really see it that much. I'm not really touching it perfect, but bobbles. So, basically, my receiver is shot because I haven't yet figured out a way to get in there and tie that sucker down. I don't know if a gaba solder is going to do it, if I could just goop a little bit in there, make sure it's careful, or some epoxy, maybe I could just dump some epoxy in there. Haven't quite figured it out yet. I am going to do some testing and I will get back to you in part two. Thanks for